Hey, welcome to the Science Zone. I'm Quinn, and today we're going to learn all about citizen science. Citizen science is any science done by a professional scientist with volunteers like you and me. It can even be something you do on your own. You can do things including your own experiments at home, helping with bird and insect counts, or even playing online games. If you're interested in one day becoming a scientist, this is the best place to start. Sir Isaac Newton, Benjamin Franklin, and Charles Darwin were all citizen scientists before it was called that, and before they were even scientists. And they made some of the most important scientific contributions ever. Ever since professional science became a thing, though, there has often been a big gap between the scientists and those of us not working in labs or classrooms. Recently, that is beginning to change. In 2007, Galaxy Zoo was created. A group of astronomers needed a ton of photos of galaxies to be analyzed but it was going to take them years to do it on their own. They decided to reach out to volunteers online. In 175 days, the volunteers had identified almost every galaxy in the photos almost 40 times. Originally, it was estimated that it would take years to complete the project, but with the brain power of thousands of volunteers, the project was finished much earlier than expected. Galaxy Zoo then grew into Zooniverse, a site where volunteers can access over 100 projects in several different fields. Not only can you help with astronomy projects, but you can also help read descriptions of old paintings. No matter what your interest, there is always some way you can help researchers. If you really like video games, well, citizen science is for you. Games like Fold It and Eternal let you try to fold different cellular structures, like RNA and proteins. The patterns you come up with are then used by scientists to create these structures in a lab. Not only is this a fun and productive way to spend your spare time, you can also help contribute to research on Alzheimer's, tuberculosis, cancer, and more. If you really get into games, then you can help write scientific papers and get your findings published in real scientific journals. If you're not so into video games, you can help out in person. Every year, scientists need volunteers to help them count birds, butterflies, plankton, you name it. Some awesome websites to find ongoing projects in your area are citizenscience.gov, scistarter.com, and citizensciencealliance.org. These are all great ways to get involved with traditional citizen science, but the definition of citizen science is changing. If you're really interested in a project, but you don't see anyone working on anything similar, you can do it at home on your own. If you follow the scientific method and collect a large amount of data, you have yourself a citizen science project. No matter what you decide to do, just remember that every little thing you do makes an impact on scientific research, no matter how small. Now get out there, create your own project, help someone else with theirs, and have fun!